We are looking into the identity theft crisis and how consumers can preserve their identity, especially as we head into the holiday season. Yeah, important information. News 2's Mason McLeod joins us now in the studio. A closer look regarding your credit and debit card information. Macy? That's right. I'm taking a closer look at credit and debit card theft, and I have the five ways to protect yourself while shopping in stores and online. It's starting to sound like the holidays. <laughs> But as shoppers begin to charge those purchases, it's important to consider the ways thieves could steal important information from credit or debit cards. Until it happens to you, then you really aren't as aware. You don't think that's ever going to happen to you. One Mount Pleasant shopper tells me her credit card information has been stolen at least once a year for the past seven years. We've had our identity stolen so many times. I've had thousands of dollars taken out of my account. Fortunately, the bank has covered it, but yeah, it, it causes a problem. I sat down with agents from the Secret Service and FBI. They say you don't have to stop using plastic for purchases, but there's five big ways to be smart about it. Number one, use your credit card for online purchases. It has a little bit more protection and also it doesn't expose your checking account to being exploited. Use a specific card just for online shopping. Um, because it'll lessen your vulnerability and keep the dollar amount on that card as low as you can and still safely shop and buy what you want to buy. Number two, make sure you only shop on legitimate websites. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. If you go to a website that um, you haven't heard of before, they have a really great deal that just doesn't seem practical, get a, get a hard address for that company. Um, and call that company. Make sure they're legitimate. Um, do some research before you give them your credit card number. Number three, keep an eye out for credit card skimmers. Because we have seen an uptick in skimmer activity. So, you know, if the device doesn't look like it belongs to the gas station or the bank, if it looks like it's been added on, if you see any cameras over your shoulder, um, you want to be very careful about using that. And in fact, you want not to use it and to contact local police. Number four, check your bank statements carefully. Cyber thieves won't always look to take the most amount of money out of your credit that they can because they can continue to use that card over a period of time if possible by keeping the dollar amount low so that you don't see it coming out every month. And number five, if you do see any fraudulent charges, contact your bank and local police immediately. If their credit card has been compromised, the bank will cancel it and then they'll issue them a new one. The next thing you're going to want to do is file a police report. Doesn't mean that the police are going to actively work the crime, but it does bring in uh, statistical information and it brings in intelligence so that we can begin to look at patterns and practices. The Secret Service and FBI tell me any time you use a credit or debit card, your identity becomes more vulnerable. But by using these five tips, it will help your identity to be more secure during the holiday shopping period. For the I-Team, Macy McLeod, News 2. Good information. Thanks, Macy. And to take a closer look at protecting your identity, head online to CountOn2.com.